But man, so today we're teaching you guys how to liquefy. This is how to liquefy in Photoshop. Some people don't know how to do it, but um, basically it's like when you like um, kind of like do the body morphing or like, you know, straighten them out a little bit around the edges, make them look a little bit more curvy when everybody's like, oh, can you suck my stomach in? Like whenever your client might say that, this is how you do it. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it today, all right? But if you're new here, um, welcome to Taxi PNG, man where I do, you know, tutorials on everything, you know, photography and videography related, as well as behind the scenes on my photo shoots. So yeah, you know what I'm saying? The behind the scenes and I do some vlogging as well. I'm gonna try to like get more into the vlogging side of things and then have a lot of the tutorial based stuff on Patreon. But let me know if you guys like this type of content and I will continue to make it. Um, yeah, I love you guys, man. You guys make me who I am. So whatever you guys wanna see, let me know. Just go ahead and um, but mention it down below in the comments. I get nervous when I'm recording, but mention it down below in the comments on what you guys want to see more of and i will create more of that but we got the image here so we took the image from um lightroom we go into lightroom first usually what i do and i'll go in here and i'll just decide which image i want to edit and then i'll literally like you know do a little pre stuff with the colors you know play around with the pinks and stuff because it's a pink on pink image right here i'll hit a right click and then i'll literally just hit edit in photoshop and now it'll open this image up in photoshop <laughs> I've been very congested, man. Like I have really bad allergies and it's not helping that it's the summer. So I'm gonna pick an image that kind of like is like easy to see the curve. So this one right here, I always go Command J, Command J twice. So that way I can duplicate the layer and you can see, um, so I could duplicate the layer and I get more layers added on. So now I can, you know, play with these top layers and still have the bottom layer where I could take it off where you can see where the changes were made, right? And then I always love to go um, and like fix up my image first. So the first thing I'll do is probably just go in here and like, you know, do a little minor retouches on her skin. But today we're talking about how to liquefy, right? So let me just go ahead and hop right into there because I know you guys might be like, oh my gosh, this tutorial is not even what I'm looking for. Get straight to the point, my guy. Get straight to the point. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. I got you. Man, zero. All right, so literally, so it's shift command X to do the liquefy, or you can go up here and you can go to um, filter and then liquefy, which it'll tell you right here what the shortcut is. So if you guys ever see this on the side, these are the key keyboard shortcuts, which are right here. So literally you can hit liquefy or you can do shift command X and then it'll go right into here. So literally, like as you can see, I use this right here. The um, link will be on my storefront. So the link to my storefront is down below in the description. But this I use a little like uniball and it really makes it easy to like, you know, move stuff around or even easier as a stylist. But when I'm doing this tutorial, I try to use this because you guys are also using a mouse, but this is a $50 mouse. It's not that expensive and it does a lot. It really helps. Like, you can travel around. I can have it on my, on my, on my lap and I can do it. It makes it really, really easy. It makes it very comfortable for you. So you guys can see my settings up top in the right corner. That's the settings that I have. So I literally kind of try to keep my settings around here. I never really move them. The only thing that changes is the size of the brush. So I'll go down on the brush and I'll go up on the brush. If I see that this is a big little like portion right here that I want to like, you know, bring out, I always try to keep the center of my brush at the middle point of where I want to move. If I'm trying to pull this hip out, I'm not going to have it all the way out here pulling it because it's going to go based off of what's in the middle of that circle. So the middle of the circle is on her is on her hip. I'm pulling it out. You guys see how it's middle of the hip, pulling it out, pulling it out, pulling it out, pushing this part in, pulling these parts out. Just want to make sure that it's like, so density, if you can see, so I'm at density nine, right? So I'm going to pull this out fully with density nine. You see how that happened with density nine? I'm going to command Z. Now I'm going to put my density up to density 74. And you guys see how much of a difference that's just made. One, two. So I'm going to go to density zero. There's like, you know, you, you guys see how like much sharper it is. That's so bad, right? You don't want that. Right. And then you can see density 100. It's pulling more of a spot. Like if you notice what I'm saying, it's pulling more of the skin. So it's it's grabbing more of it and it makes it more dense, right? So I'm gonna command Z everything back to how it was. I'm gonna put my density back to where it was at. I had it at nine. My density is nine. The size doesn't matter. Go up and down. My pressure is nine as well. So density nine, pressure nine. I gotta keep it around here. And then literally it just the density kind of like changes based on how big your um brushes so if your brush is bigger it'll grab a bigger surface area if it's smaller it'll grab a smaller area so it's kind of like it just takes some like you know getting used to and playing around with for you to get like you know accustomed to the brushes and like the different sizes so that you know exactly what you're grabbing each time that you try, try to like you know edit but i always try to like push push in where i feel like it's supposed to be pushed in i feel like you know that you know hips start right here 
and oh your client probably wants this okay push this in and i'm saying push this in push this in make it smaller so i can get this little part right here push this in so it's just like you know it's it's, it's bigger and smaller so there's a bracket keys on on the keyboard right here you can see these bracketed keys on the keyboard so right here are the two brackets this right here will make it big will make it smaller and then a bigger bracket will make it bigger so it's left bracket and right bracket right bracket makes it bigger left bracket makes it smaller so those are some keyboard shortcuts to like you know help you with sizing i gotta i play with the elbows usually and stuff like that and yeah i think i'm gonna have to save two of these images so that i could show like for the tutorial or whatever i guess but yeah, I feel like I could do a, tut a tutorial a day to like you know help the channel, to help the channel grow. I want to do more so vlogging on this channel though, like vlogs. Cause I travel a lot, so I would love to do like vlogs on here, and then a lot of my tutorial content on the Patreon. But vlogs on here, and um, yeah, I feel like vlogs on here and micro tutorials on here, and then like very in-depth tutorials on the Patreon channel. So, yeah, I feel like that would be really cool. So we're just trying to, like, get organized with where we're putting everything at, where all the content's going and stuff. Because the Patreon still right now is free currently. Like, it's not a problem. If you hit P, the, the, the letter P, it will show you the before and the after, the before and the after, the before and the after. And you can just move it around how you want. But now everything else is kind of like personal preference, like where you feel that certain thing should be. Don't over-exaggerate it, man. Don't do it too crazy because it's going to stop. It's not going to look as real. Like, this still looks natural. You know what I'm saying? If I go any more than this, it's probably not going to look as natural. I'll pull this elbow over a little bit. I'll straighten out this thigh. It's always good to, like, you know, command minus makes you go back out so you can see the overall shape of it. And you can see how it looks from afar. And you can zoom in and see how it's going to look close up. And just I just keep doing this back and forth so that I can see, like, okay, this is how it needs to look versus how else it looks. You know what I'm saying? It's like you can see how it's going to look when it's smaller on, like, on Instagram or something. Like, if it's on Instagram, it'll probably be, like, this small. And, okay, you see how it looks to the eye there. Command zero um, sizes it up all the way by itself these little things right here how it's spread out so if you feel that it's easier for you you know spread out the like this you can use this as well but sometimes it does it too much so you don't want to do that too much but you can use this for like other things like if you're if your um client wants other things like you know enlarged you could use this for that as well um you see my settings on the side right here you know 50 and 80 and then like you know you just play around with it like as you need it like little a little bit goes a long way with this liquify like when it comes to liquify a little goes a long way bro a little goes a long way but before after before after before after see and you hit okay and that's why i have the two um the two different that's why i have the two different layers because i can look i can put before and i could put after you see so i can have two layers where it's both on there so yeah let me know if this video was helpful i try to keep it very small short and simple for you guys this was how to um liquefy and body morph in photoshop until next time taxi